Saving the moon. A brave princess defeats a giant crab. Long ago, a giant crab lived in a deep hole at the bottom of the ocean. Twice a day, it would crawl out to search food. When he left, his, when it left its home, the, deep, the hole will fill up with water. Since the crab was so large, it took all of the water along along the shore to fill the hole. When when the crab finished eating, it crawled back into his hole. The water was forced back back up, causing it push to push high on the shore. Some people call the time of the day high high tide and low tide. Once evening, a princess was walking along the seashore, watching the, the ocean. Suddenly, she saw a she saw an island rise up out of the sea and start to start walking toward the seashore. That was not an island. It was a giant crab. The, the crab was taller than the, the island's tallest tree or mountain. Then princess saw the crab's giant, giant pincher and eyes. The crab are looking at the moon as it rolls. The princess saw the princess watched the crab open its pincher and try to pinch and bite the moon. Its red eyes followed followed the moon as it rises higher. Then the crab stretch out and trying to catch it. Snap snap. The crab the crab pinch his pinch his pincher. Pinch his pincher. It lays you among the other snap or snap his pincher. The sound like thunder. If the crab called the moon and ate it, the night sky would be dark forever. The princess knew her people were in a feast. The people were dancing and having fun. No one would see the crab until it was too late. He needed help and stopped the crabs from eating the moon. Suddenly, the princess had an idea. She found an empty, empty conch shell, put it to her lip and blew. A loud noise came out blue. The princess saw the crabs giant pinchers get closer and closer to the moon. Snap, snap, snap. He blew into the shell once again. The crabs pinchers get, close, get closer and closer to the moon. The princess blew one more time with the, loud, the loudest sound yet. When the sound died out, the drums stopped beating. The princess looked for looked forward looked toward to the village and saw a line of churches come toward her. The, the waving line of churches torches torches look like a giant snake come come down along the come down along the mountainside on the way to the beach. She blew the shell once. She blew the shell again and again and ran toward her people. The warriors armed with swords, knives, and spears appeared. And their eyes, their eyes showed the fear when they, when they, were, when they see the largest crabs that they had ever seen. It, it crab, it crab, crab, it 
subscribe please eh? grab grab at the, the moon grab at the moon one pinchers one pinchers stretch higher than before and almost call the moon but the moon slipped from the crab's grip and the crab fell down on his on its back the princess grabbed a spear and run and run the where and run where the grabs are was trying to get up. She ran run on one side of the crab. She aimed her spear to the grabs soft belly and and scabbed. Deep. And deep it. Every every warrior did the same while dodging the pinchers. One warrior cut off the one of the pinchers and the other pinchers was cut off. Soon soon the crabs died dead and the moon was safe. The bravery of Princess save the moon. The night nice skies are still lived by the moon. Moon night. Ship can ship can sail from by the light of the moon. The waters of the ocean still still acting. Still acting. Or walking. Still working from the high going yeah, going or operating. Uh, going from the high tide to the low tide and back again. People say that that is the flow of the moon cause this tide. But the islanders said it is the water going in and out at the crab's home in the crab's home at the bottom of the sea. Oh.